bread, yeast, science. Hey everyone, I'm Fatima Hussein, and I'm your curiosity correspondent based at MIT. Today, we're gonna take a step out of the lab and into my apartment, where we're gonna make a video about food, specifically bread. You know, I'm a scientist in the lab, but you know, you can't control things in the kitchen, at least for me. So let's get started. First, we gotta introduce flour, vinegar, salt, seasoning, dry yeast, and warm, warm water. Before we add any of the liquids, we have to mix together all of our dry ingredients. This is to help make sure everything is distributed well, which we need for the science magic to take place later on. Right now, our science all-star yeast is dry and sleeping. We have to wake it up. And the way we do this is by throwing a bunch of basically hot water on it and then mixing it all up. Now we cover it up so that our mixture doesn't dry up and stop the cool stuff from happening. And let's watch. It's getting bigger. Or at least it looks like it. The yeast is eating the starches, the sugars in the flour to gain energy, and they're releasing carbon dioxide gas. This process is called fermentation, and yeast are really, really good at it. And at the same time, a type of protein called gluten forms when flour and water are combined, and it helps trap the carbon dioxide bubbles the yeast make, making airy, bubbly dough. But we can't let this go on forever. It's time to bake. The heat from baking kicks the yeast into high gear for a bit so they form even more carbon dioxide gas, but eventually they die when it's too hot, and the result is gorgeous, steamy bread. Until next time, see ya, I'm off to eat bread.